Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video we're going to be looking at some more StarCraft 2 action. It's going to be a professional match between Trollololol, who is in the bottom left hand corner, who is going to be our Protoss in this game. And in the top right hand side we're going to have War.io. I'm sure that's how you, pretty sure that's how you say it. Now I was looking at these names and I was like, man, there's, there's got to be some fun games to cast. So hopefully it's going to be really funny to watch. And this is going to be my second video, second time trying to do a uh, casting for um, StarCraft 2 professional sort of matches. This is Grandmaster level, so I'm not sh too sure if these guys are actually pro players. Don't know if they make a living or anything like that, but they are um, Grandmaster level. I was able to find that out. So they could be Smurf accounts for some pro players, or they could just be, um, you know, really good players who just really like the game and are very good and just have the normal jobs. So we're going to all that, you know, really young or something. So we're going to have a scout out from Trollololol. How many times do I have to say that? One, two, three. Oh, lol, lol, lol. Trollololol. Do you think? Oops. So he's talking to something. MT. Don't, know, don't quite know what he's talking about there. He just stole some minerals. Now this can actually be quite um, annoying. At the highest level of play, it actually does make a difference you know having five less minerals well it can once you get to the very late late game but it's not really gonna impact you if you're on the lower level of um, the skill so he's gonna try and troll all's gonna try and block the expansion here he's oh he might lose his probe no nope. he's gonna get that probe out of there and the expansion should go down there it is and that probe should probably hit home with its five HP uh, we're going to have an expand first, so Nexus first, then Forge for Trollololol. I'm going to just call him Troll for now on because I might say it too many times, just get really confused. And oh, we had a spawning pool first out from War.io. This, this is very standard for Zerg against Protoss. He's got his Overlord here spotting, so what's one of these? Number two, one, take that off. And so he's going to be able to spot uh, any cannons, proxy cannons, trying to um, rush him and all, all sorts of things like that. What else are we going to be seeing? We're going to be seeing a cannon and a gateway out from Trollololol. He's going to be getting his gas out around this time. Chrono boosting out those. Um, what is he chrono boosting out? He must be chrono boosting out those workers. Trying to get as many workers as they can. As you can see. Oh, what's the button? It's units. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've only got 16. Oh, we've got some Zerglings on the way from... Um, War.io. Not too many, though, but... He doesn't have many drones at the moment. As you can see, 1823. I'm actually am not too sure. Is this what it usually is like? Maybe it's usually like this, or probably because Trollolol <laughs> has been chrono boosting out those workers. He's getting the cybernets caught up. So we haven't seen any early sort of cheese out of these two players. There is a probe. This is the 5 HP probe. Going to be chilling out over here. Probably ready to get a uh, um, proxy pylon up. And the YO Zerglings are sitting right there. So as you can see, the barrier means they can't see each other and they're out of range anyway vision range from each other but that is so close if he had just moved it that much further down he would definitely shut down any sort of uh, proxy pylons setups from troll or roll now from the first game I noticed I watched the replay from the first game like watched my video and I noticed that I was really really dull Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was so dull listening to myself in that. Oh, and he didn't get that probe. That could cost him a bit later. And so basically I've decided to work on that very much so. I'm concentrating right now on my voice, trying to make it sound a lot more lively than it was in the other game. So hopefully I will succeed in this video. Now what are we going to be seeing out of Troll? We are seeing, oh, a Stargate. Man, I haven't been watching the production tab. 
So he's going to be getting out some Phoenix, so he's going a Stargate opener. Maybe he's been playing some HOTS and have learnt a little bit more about the Stargate, although wouldn't help him too much in this matchup, but it doesn't really matter because we're still in Wings of Liberty. So what's the Stalker going to be doing? It's going to be looking for Overlords, trying to stop any sort of um, scouting that he's going to be getting from this. These high places for the Overlords are actually really good because you can see at least one of the gases and you can see the workers mining. Um, it's just a little little area and there's also this place sitting just over here where you can hide your overlords and another one is over here so you know they can just be walking past and you'll be able to see them and if you lose it will because they have some e units or um, an overseer Overse no. observer observer for protoss not overseer that's a zerg detection unit now as you can see we're going to have the lair coming out of um, warp what is the name? War IO. And double evolution chamber. Has he got a roach warren or anything up? A roach, that's a macro hatch. He's going to use macro hatch. That's very, very going to be very useful. And he has he spot this yet? No, he hasn't. Now he's just spotted it. He's going to be building some spines. Oh, so spore crawlers, not spine crawlers. Wouldn't help him very much if he was building spine crawlers. Now, he did was able to get a queen for his efforts with this. And he is going to pick up some drones just before the spore crawlers. Um, get up. He's going to be killing quite a few workers. He's be able to get five. So it hasn't been quite been cost effective yet, but it's been able to just harass him a bit. Now, is this a complete war? No. There's a little gap just chilling right there. So it's a quite a good little setup. Now, Wyo is going to be trying to get some. Uh, to try and destroy those pylons so that the reinforcements couldn't warp in and just to, you know, get a little bit of uh, resources do a bit of damage because as you can see the zerg is behind at the moment not far behind for how far this how long this game has been going but that's actually a bit more than i thought he had lost so far we are going to be seeing the spire out of here where's the spire it's going to be really good with hots because you can click on the thing see i can't click on it but i can't go anywhere so where is the spire did i miss it there it is it's a very small little building, so it's hard to very f see very easily. Now the observer is going to be seeing that there's a uh, gas going up here, so he most likely knows that there is a fourth base hap <coughs> happening. Yo is going to be trying to get staying to work on these rocks, and oh, taking a bit of damage on the phoenix. Not too bad. There's only one that's into the hull damage. Now there's two. Oh, we might lose. No, he's not going to lose it. Paying a lot more attention, a lot closer attention than a lot of other people might have. Because he is in the very high level of uh, play. And we are seeing quite a few gateways out of War IO, and he's got the Colossus tech up, which he's going to be getting, going to be getting the Thurbal Lance. He's got weapon upgrade level 2 coming out, and blink. So he's going for, he's ticking up very fast. And as you can see, these spore crawlers are already ready to be burrowed in. He is going to be losing a few drones to these phoenix at, while they're transferring over, so he has to be careful about that. She might need to get some queens out over here just to do a bit of attacking to fend them away a little bit. The spire is up. Are we seeing anything out of it yet? No, we're just seeing the weapon level upgrade for air. What's it called? The Zerg Flyer Attack Level 1. So it's real you know, basic um, name. Has Mr. Lava Eject, Lava Inject on that queen? He's been pretty, keeping pretty up with them. I mean, my queens usually are at like 100 energy by now, so he's been very good with this. And we are seeing a Colossus. Oh, it's been taking some damage. Wonder what attacked that. Man, wasn't paying attention to the mini-map very well, was I? So, as he just revealed, the Colossus Tech, if War IO was watching the uh, mini-map. Just rearranging some spore crawlers. Here comes the 29 Mutalisks. What? 29 Mutalisks. Now, this is going to be very, very effective against what uh, Trollolol has actually got. He's getting a lot more stalkers out. But as you can see in the units tab, we only have... 14 stalkers to 29 mutalists. At those numbers, the stalkers can, or the mutalists can just 
take out all of those stalkers and then take out sentries will also be trying to be doing some damage but I don't think they will um, do much because that is so many mutilists he must be about to get um, play this game without using much gas at all until now so he's just saved up all his gas and he is where's he gonna be going uh, they're gonna have uh, an attack oh here he comes he's gonna defend himself yes he is Wario's just getting into the right position. He's coming in from the side. He's going to be attacking these stalkers. They do have blinks, so that will be helping them a lot, but not quite as much as you might think because you just, that many mutas can kill them off so fast. We are. This is a major battle. There are a few zerglings coming in. What is he making? He's making or in production, making more zerglings and mutalisks. Uh, too bad for uh, Trollolo, he just doesn't have enough anti-air. He walked in more stalkers to try and take on these mutilists, but he's able to fend them off for now. How many are left in the, the unit counting? There's still 21 mutilists on the field and 22 stalkers, but with the Zerglings coming in, they'll be able to do some damage uh, while the stalkers are attacking. Oh no, it looks like there were two, just a mini, just enough stalkers to be able to hold this off. There are more mutilists on the way, needs more zerglings to come in and start attacking those uh, stalkers. It looks like he's going to be losing his fourth base. And there is no fourth base for Trollolo on this, so this might be an all-in from Trollolo. And he has left the game, no GG, so this is most probably on the ladder. Um, I'm not too sure which... Um, server they were on but it looks like Trollolo is going to take this game quite uh, easily with that many um, stalkers he had the warp prison in to warp in right on the front lines so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it hope you can give me any feedback on what I could do better and wow look at all that money that he had stockpiled in the bank he wasn't macroing to the best of his ability he probably needed um, to spend more lava and get hit more lava injects as you can see these queens are quite high on energy at 100 apiece this one's at 123 so that's a few lava injects that he's missed so that means he could have had more zerglings or spine crawlers up to defend against these attacks so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls